Us Northwest Suburban Man got more than he bargained for when he bought a pair of pants at Woodfield Mall. He also stumbled upon a mystery. Dave Paco has the story. Adam Zalowski of Johnsburg isn't holding just any pair of pants. He has pants with a mystery, so yeah, it has a whole story behind it now. That story starts here at the H&M store in Woodfield Mall, where Adam bought a backup pair of jeans several months ago. Last week, he decided to slip them on and felt something odd in the top pocket. There was something in the pocket. I, I assumed it was maybe just a tag or, or something, but I was surprised to find an SD card and a piece of gum. <laughs> but he got an even bigger surprise when he plugged that SD card into his computer. I didn't really expect to find anything on there, so when I put it in the computer, I was completely blown away to find over 750 travel Yeah, 750, there's your three. All over Europe, in fact. Hundreds of images from Spain. Hungary, Poland, and in many of the pictures, this guy, whom Adam believes is the owner of the SD card. I knew how important these photos would be. It was always a dream of mine to travel to Europe, and I think most people's. So I know how important those pictures could be if they weren't backed up. And Fuck that's off. what I knew I wanted to do everything I could to get these back to. And Adam even did some detective work, using a reverse imaging website to track down the specific locations of the pictures. That's how we figured out this is St. Stephen's Basilica in Budapest. And this is the Roman Bridge of Cordoba, Spain. And the famous Charles Bridge in Prague. But what he really wants to know is, who is this guy? You never know, maybe he was from Europe. Um, you know, we get a lot of visitors in this area. But uh, I'm hoping that somebody, somebody knows something about who, who he is. A spokesman for H&M says they do inspect all the clothing that gets returned says they're just as intrigued as Adam about the mystery of the lost photo chip. And they're inviting both Adam and the card's owner, if he's found, back to the store <coughs> for a free pair of pants. Dane Placco, Fox 32 News. Okay, so let's look at this here. Us Northwest Suburban Man got me. First of all, he said he bought the pants and then a couple months later he tried them on. When was the last time you bought a pair of pants and waited a couple months to wear them? Number two, did you get a look at those pictures? Did you look at those church pictures? These are pick up and drop off points for agents. That's all that there is to it. And that dude looks like Lance Bass from NSYNC, that fruitcake motherfucker. Okay, there's no, there's no way that this story is in any way, shape or form realistic in the form that they have uh, divvied it out to everybody. These are pick up and drop off points. You notice they're all in Europe and that's highly predominantly communistic in that area as far as being tied in with those uh, theologies. You know, why would, why would a guy... I, I don't even know where to go with this story. This is such utter bullshit. Since when does Fox, a multi-billion dollar company, care if somebody gets their fucking vacation pictures? It's because that SD card probably was supposed to be delivered to somebody and it got lost and the guy didn't know where it was. And so Fox, because they always, they always pass these coded uh, stories put the story out so that the guy that lost it or the guy that was supposed to receive it would know that the SD card was found that's why they put this story out okay remember there's an agenda here all right that's why the story was put up because Fox News has the time and the money and the air power to put out their fucking agenda and tell their agents all over the world exactly where that fucking SD card was so that they now they can stop looking. And they were nice enough to show the guy's face who found it, supposedly, and in a later episode that they showed today, it isn't on yet, they show the guy who it belongs to. So when you're talking uh, St. Peter's Basilica or whatever, you're talking fucking Nazi shit. Again with the fucking Hebrew Nazi Zionist bullshit. You notice the guy's a fucking redhead. Well, what do you think? He's a redhead. Go back and look at the SD card. It's a, it says Dane. That's from the tribe of Dan. It's Hebrew. They were the troublemakers. They're not even mentioned in the Bible as being part of the ones that get saved. This is stupid shit.